So today I'm going to show you how to replace the x-axis carriage bracket on a FlashForge Dreamer. I'm doing it on a Dreamer NX single extruder, but this is the same process for the Dreamer and Dreamer 2 that have the dual extruders. So first we're going to remove these two bolts right here. Okay, this one removes the fan shroud that points the that cools the part. We unscrew that and take it off and it's your little directional fan shroud. And then the other one is this one right here. And that one take off. There are two more to take off. We got this one here, which you can't really see, but there's a hole in the middle of the fan bracket. And you can go up and take that one out. You could also take the fan bracket off first um, because that does have to come off, which is this last one. So there's four socket head cap screws that need to come out. Okay, once you have them all out, the fan bracket kind of comes off and then you can lift the fan and the whole extruder assembly off and out of the way. Now there are two more slip screws right here. Go ahead and they don't have to come out actually. What you want to do is just loosen them about two or three turns. Okay, those are all the screws that come out and get loosened up. And then to remove the plastic carriage bracket, just pop it off the linear bearings like so. Then I can pop off this side. Now, now I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera to the top so that you can see a top view of it. Okay, here we are looking down on the carriage bracket and those two Phillips screws you loosen up at the end, those actually hold this clamp, this plastic clamp on that clamps the belt. So since those are loose now, that clamp is loose and we can just slide the belt right out. No problem. See the belt's on top now. And we've popped both of the linear bearings out. We'll pop the bracket off those. So now you can just take it out just like so. Now the new X carriage bracket does not come with the clamp. So you want to remove both of these Phillips screws and save the clamp, put it onto your new carriage bracket. Okay, so once you have your clamp and you've put it on your new carriage bracket and you got your new carriage bracket ready to install, um, when you put the clamp on your new carriage bracket, don't tighten these down all the way because we have to put the belt in first. And what we'll do is slide it back under here, slide the belt under the clamp, and then we are going to line up the linear bearings. And once when they line up, the bracket will kind of sink down just a little bit. And that's how you know they're they're lined up. And then what I do is I put my fingers underneath and hold the bearings and then just squeeze the bracket together. That way you don't put any pressure on the linear rods. So once we got that done, we can go ahead and put our extruder back on. This bracket is still a little loose, but we'll tighten it up when we go back underneath. Set our extruder on top like that. Just kind of set it there for now. And then I'm gonna put the camera back underneath so you can see where all the screws go. Okay, so we're looking back now from the bottom, and what we want to do is tighten up these two Phillips screws first. So go ahead and pull the belt out of the way with one finger, or however you want to do it there, and go ahead and snug up these two screws. Just snug them up. Don't need them super tight. Just tight enough they don't fall out. And it holds the belt. Now, I'm going to lift up the extruder 
here and just take a look, make sure the belt is actually clamped and it is. Sometimes that belt will pop out. Okay, once you have your belt clamped tight, we will go ahead and put our socket head cap screws in. And the first one I like to do is this one all the way over here on the right hand side. Just line it up, feed it in. I don't take it all the way snug until I get the second one in. And I use this uh, Bondus uh, Pro Hold Tip hex driver. And I like it because it has a little nub on one of the flat sides that actually kind of holds the screw, just kind of snaps on there. I mean, it'll hold it upside down. Um, so it does, it makes it a lot easier. Sometimes it'll fall off if you bump it too hard, but definitely makes it a lot easier to put your screws in. Okay, that one's on. Now snug that one down, and then we'll go over and snug the other one down. Don't over tighten them, just snug them down. It's an aluminum block. You don't want to strip it out. Next, we'll go ahead and install the fan bracket. And the fan bracket, when you're installing it, it's held on by the back screw there. The front one is right there, and that is for the fan shroud that cools the prints. And go ahead and put the fan shroud back on. What I do is kind of tuck it up there, and usually it'll stay in place. It'll, it can kind of hold itself in place. And then we just go under here, tighten that up, snug it down, and there you have it. You're now ready to start printing again. That is how you replace the extruder carriage bracket on the Flash Forge Dreamer series. I hope this video will be of some help to somebody, and thank you for watching.